All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, my regular viewers, listeners, and watchers. And of course, if you happen to be here for the very first time, welcome. Before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So, even as I'm reflecting on the day that was today, uh, it's definitely been uh, fascinating to actually think of the many times uh, and the several conversations that I've had with clients, that I've had with students, and uh, several business conversations that I've had. Uh, in fact, I was just listening to a podcast as well. And all of these kind of led me back to this one theme that just kind of popped up. And that is twofold. One is literally, you know, the power of money. And two is the conversations around money. So, you know, especially if you are a digital coach, meaning that you focus on coaching people in one of the five streams. And these five streams are health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, and purpose. So when you look at these five areas, uh, these are honestly core areas in our lives. And, you know, when you as a coach, when you've decided to focus on one of these areas because you truly connect with it, maybe you have a life story, maybe you've turned something around in your life uh, based on one of these five areas. And having done that, you know, it's taught you also that it's time for you to uh, make this available to the world and to help people, right? So if that's uh, the journey that you've been on, uh, what's also important is, uh, you know, what are some of your conversations around money? Uh, what kind of conversations do you allow yourself to have? Because, you know, the core of being a digital coach uh, means that you're in business. And honestly, you're in business when you're actually willing to talk about money, when you're actually willing to, uh, you know, tune into the power that is money. And, uh, you know, more and more every day, I'm, you know, becoming aware of how um, either difficult or sticky or um, uncomfortable these conversations can be. Or, on the other hand, how powerful, how freeing, how liberating it can feel to, you know, to truly uh, tap into the power that's money. And uh, something to consider, you know, maybe growing up, uh, you've had an upbringing that didn't uh, promote um, the power of money. In fact, it was sort of demoting the power of money, you know, maybe Maybe you were taught that, you know, you must always give, you know, be only about service. And by that, see, give on its own is not an, not an issue, not a problem. But it's like when it's only give, right, and don't receive. Uh, don't be open to, uh, to receive. Uh, you know, asking is bad. Right? These are some of the things that I've noticed, um, you know, a lot of us have grown up with. And so today, as a digital coach, when you want to truly be, able to help people when you want to be able to, um, you know, teach them certain life skills, uh, how we show up when it comes to money makes a huge difference. And I, I share these stories now more and more because it's taken me a while to truly be able to blend both. Uh, you know, one is learning and, you know, skilling myself, meaning increasing my skill in this case, for me, my focus is hypnosis and also to be able to build a business. And I'm starting to notice more and more uh, each day, my conversations with people, my conversations with collaborators is changing. And uh, not only is it becoming uh, inclusive, but it's also starting to tap into the power that is money. So you know, if you are a digital coach and if you've been struggling with this, um, with these money beliefs, um, maybe, maybe it's time to start exploring and start noticing what is your money blueprint? You know, I mean, even this concept of money blueprint is something that uh, for many, many years, uh, I never heard of, you know, and mind you, 
you know anything about my story, you know that I even did my MBA in in marketing. I worked in advertising. Uh, I even did, you know, part of my MBA was doing, you know, corporate finance, right? A little bit of cost accounting and and all of the sort of like the fundamentals. So one would assume that, you know, having a relationship with money was kind of given, right? It was a it was like a default, but no. And for most of us, even as I reflect back on it, for most of us, it was more about, you know, you're doing all of this so that you can secure a job and then hold on to it like your life depends on it. So, uh, you know, if you are anything like me and you've, um, you know, you've had these struggles as well, um, the good news is that, uh, you know, your struggles can be over, right? It's all about you deciding that, okay, from this moment on, I'm going to focus on making money and, you know, the energy that is money, uh, something that is positive in my life. And I'm also going to focus on making service, meaning the being of service to other people and, uh, you know, creating this service in a context where you make it easy for people to buy what you're offering. Um, because firstly, you're offering it to them because they want it and you're making it simple and easy for them to uh, purchase what you're offering. So these are just, you know, uh, uh, what do you call them? These are uh, Wednesday thoughts that just literally bubbled up today. So um, it just felt appropriate to share this with you as I continue on my journey to, um, you know, to continue to work on my beliefs, my money beliefs, my, uh, my money blueprint, and also, you know, opening up that that um, willingness to receive. So if you're on this journey and, you know, especially as a digital coach, if you've already invested in tools, in, uh, in uh, technology and, you know, in mentors programs, but somehow when you look at your bank balance, you know, uh, you can see that it doesn't add up, right? Somehow you've invested a lot, you've spent a lot, but it's not coming back to you. Uh, I can tell you that the one missing piece definitely is this, right? It's your own personal, it's your own self-beliefs. And one thing I have come to recognize and realize is that rather than trying to um, work on your negative self-beliefs and change your negative self-beliefs, that's a lot of hard work. Instead, if you were to just focus on your positive self-beliefs and you start to, um, you know, start to do the work on building more and more deeper and deeper positive, powerful self-beliefs. I can promise you this sooner than later, but eventually you'll get to the point where you just literally become like this magnet for um, you know, business opportunities. You become this magnet for pe people truly wanting to work with you and to, uh, to be able to take your message just as you, you, know, you help grow their message. So what I've put together is a workshop. It's called Mera Number Kab Aiga. As you can tell, if you are in that camp right now, which is Mera Number Kab Aiga, I see other people succeeding. But hey, what about me? If that is you right now, then this workshop is designed specifically for you. So the way this works is, you know, sign up for the workshop, come and experience it. And if you truly feel and believe that, you know, uh, working on your self-beliefs is going to make this difference, and again, don't take my word for it. During the course of this workshop, uh, over the course of 60 minutes, literally, you will get to experience self-hypnosis and you'll also start to notice that, okay, uh, you know, rather than trying to beat myself up about negative self-beliefs, if I start to focus on positive self-beliefs, I can start to feel a difference in my life. So, you know, if this is, if this is you and this, you know, interests you or it makes you curious about it, or you're at that point of being fed up and you're like, I'm done with trying so many different things, nothing has worked. Let me focus on myself and go inward. Then this workshop is for you. So I definitely look forward to seeing you. This is on Sunday at 11 a.m. So uh, there is a link that you should definitely be seeing. And this, uh, this pod shows up on YouTube. Otherwise, of course, if you happen to see this pod and you're not able to find the link, just send me a message and I will definitely share the link to the workshop with you. So with that, um, as always, I want to remind you to keep doing what you're doing because 
being a digital coach, being somebody that really wants to make a difference is a higher calling and you already have it, you are already it. Now it's about taking that and turning it into and pointing it towards you earning just as much as, and literally that's why we say it's all about, you know, it's like I can teach you to maximize your market value. So that's really the, the crux, the core of what we're doing here. So I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. And of course, as always, remember to live with purpose. And yeah, before I go, uh, there's any way in which I can help you, definitely reach out and I'll do everything that I can to be able to help you on your journey. So with that, I'm going to call this one and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.